Dennis is independent emerging markets commentator. He joins, uh, he joins us now. Jeffrey, good to have you with us here. Thank you for your time. Uh, is the market priming itself for a Trump win? Look at dollar, look at yields, look at the U.S. outperformance, equity outperformance. What's your sense? Yes, I think it is. I think it's moved definitely in the last two to three weeks as the polls have moved slightly in favor of Trump towards a Trump trade um, and towards the Trump trade. And I think markets tend to be all or nothing, you know, in or out. And although the, the election is clearly still very, very close, although perhaps some um, leaning now towards Trump, especially in those uh, seven swing states, the market's all in on the Trump trade. And you're seeing this in so many ways, um, as you've said already, a stronger dollar, um, higher bond yields, which have moved up very sharply recently. Equity is not quite sure where they go from, from this. And also, I think at the margin, a little bit more uncertainty as to how much the Fed is going to cut interest rates over the period of, until um, the end of 2025. So I think, yeah, the Trump trade or President Trump's victory now is getting close to being priced in. Maybe not fully priced in, but getting close there. Mm, so... Uh... Uh, hi, Mr. Dennis. Good to have you on. And uh, by the way, festive greetings to you from uh, from us here in India. So, uh, you know, the, I guess a lot then kind of hinges on the, the November 5 outcome. And then what if, what if, uh, you know, it dis doesn't go according to market positioning? Could that then, uh, you know, really halt the big move, the big rally that we're seeing in equities and, uh, you know, this move in yields that we've seen over the last couple of weeks? I suspect if in the end Kamala Harris is elected president, I think the equities will probably rally more because equities have been very, very um, uncertain and volatile recently. The key thing to get to the, the factors behind the Trump trade, so to speak, is that um, Trump's fiscal plans are extremely expansionary. They're going to push up, uh, according to independent analysis, the debt to GDP ratio of the US to around 135% by 2035. Um, the Kamala Harris fiscal plans are expansionary, but nothing like as expansionary as, as, as the Trump plans. And what that therefore means, in my opinion, in the event that uh, Kamala Harris um, wins this election, I think there'll be some unwinding of the things that have gone on recently. The dollar will pull a little bit lower, Yields might correct, um, might pull back. And that, I think, uh, in the face also of perhaps, um, you know, maybe a little bit greater optimism about the Fed being able to cut again, because the Fed doesn't want to see yields go too high. The Fed does not want to see the budget uh, blown out of the water, which is what President Trump is suggesting with his proposal. So a uh, Kamala Harris victory, I think, would bring a... Um, would bring uh, a sizable interest rate cuts between now and the end of 20, 2025 back on the table. So I suspect the market at the margin, if Harris were to win, would probably do better in the first few days than if Trump were to win. All right. Uh, hi, Jeffrey. Good morning and good to see you. When, uh, what about your approach to emerging markets? I recall in the past when we chatted, I think you were leaning more towards India in comparison to China and Brazil in comparison to Mexico. How are you approaching those markets now, particularly since the Chinese markets, you know, from bombed out levels, they are bounced back? Yeah. Well, I, I actually think, um, and I've been writing about this the last week or so, I don't think this is a great environment currently for emerging markets overall. Uh, we've got a stronger dollar, which is typically negative for EM. You've got sharply higher bond yields. Those together, plus you've got a little bit of uncertainty about how much the Fed cuts from here. I think they do cut um, next week, but nonetheless, there's a bit of uncertainty about what goes on beyond that. What that does is, is really make it hard, I think, for emerging market central banks to reduce interest rates as quickly as they might otherwise do, because it's going to put currencies under pressure. So I think the, the general environment here for EM is not that great at the moment until we get more clarity from the US election for where these key variables are going to go. I mean, you're seeing that out there at the moment, EM is drifting lower. And EM is, has been driven all year by three markets, by Taiwan, by China now, recently, of course, and by India. Now, uh, as I've said on this program before, my big worry about China is I still think it's going to be extremely difficult for the Chinese government to do enough, particularly on the fiscal side, 
to really solve the, the major problems the Chinese economy's got, which is low consumer confidence, low consumer spending, and of course the property uh, the property sector malaise. And so, although I know India's had a tough uh, few weeks here, um, I still think at the margin, given that these are not great conditions for emerging markets um, overall, I think India is a better bet, especially with this big collapse in oil prices recently, than, than is China. Just quickly, Brazil versus Mexico. I think the domestic situation in Mexico is very poor because of the political changes that have gone on and the challenge to the constitution. Mexico should be doing really well because of all the nearshoring that's, that's going to go on under both presidents in the event that um, you know you get more uh, production in Mexico going into the U.S. Brazil, I think, has great scope eventually as long as the dollar doesn't doesn't go too high to reduce interest rates. Right. And so I still Brazil to Mexico at the margin. All right, uh, Jeffrey, we leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate you uh, being here uh, with uh, that commentary. Thanks indeed. Uh, so that's Jeffrey Dennis with the perspective on global markets. Let me quickly.